Hey mages, welcome to today's video. Today, I've got an unboxing. I went and got myself a bundle from my local LGS. So I thought I'd crack it open for you and we can see if we can pull some really, really sweet cards. Um, bundles are really, like, some of my favorite products. I think, you know, definitely some of the best. I think you get quite a bit of value in them. You get eight set boosters, uh, usually a nice dice and some lands or something like that as well. So, and you also get a nice box as well, which is pretty cool about bundles. You do get um, like a card collecting box that you can put in them. You know, anything, you, um, some of your commons or uncommon that you want to build up and just stack away so you do get a nice box with this but without further ado let's get into the box i'm already starting that the wrong way come on there we go so open it out get a nice little bit of a gingerbread art there and you get a really sweet box like i said wilds of Eldrain. that's what it is Get a nice, oh, that is a really nice dice. That is actually um, see through dice, and you can see like little pigmentations in it as well, like little star glitters as well. And it's a really cool color, like a maroon and purple. So that's pretty sweet. Um, you get a nice promo card there, which is Leech Knight's Conquest. Um, and then usually inside these as well, um, if we can just open it up and have a look. So that is a sweet foil promo as well. Um, let's get this down a bit. There we go. And get into focus. Yeah. So that is a pretty sweet. Look at that. That is glistening really well. And then you get some foil lands. Um, some nice islands. You know me. I love my islands. And some swamps. And then you usually get some basic ones as well. So yeah. Then you get a mixture of these. But I really like the foil ones. Always like the foil ones with these. Uh, used to like the bundles when you used to get like a full... Um, the full art cards when you used to get some foil ones then oh, gorgeous right set boosters let's crack them open we have here eight boosters so let's get straight into it and see what we pull i think the most expensive card in the set is the beseech the um, black card uh five double black i think it is art cards in obviously set boosters and oh start off with a nice foil mountain straight away very nice and then we have Rat Out. We have Harry Spearguard, Norwin Crescendo. Now, obviously, there's been a, quite a lot of pack openings already, so I'm just going to go through these commons and uncommons. Back for seconds. Welcome to Sweet Tooth, Gadwick's first jewel. And then we get Court of Embereth, which is a nice first rare commander card. And Restless Cottage, so Sweet Land. I think this is the most expensive one out, the color pairings. I'm not too sure, but still very nice. And then a Spreading Seas with that lovely, lovely full art there, and a foil cut in. So yeah, lands are always good. Very nice, be interested to see how these lands affect standard, how much they'll be played and how well. And there is a little bit of art there, and let's get into, right, we start with a full art plane, it's not full this time, Warehouse Tabby, Wicked Visitor, Hopeless Nightmare, Hopeful Vigil, Glass Casket, reprint that one, Eerie Interference, Ashiox Reaper, Taken by Nightmares, and the Iron Crag. Two taps, and then does a lot. Legendary Creature, end of battle, under control, you may have the Iron Crag become a legendary equipment artifact named Everflame. If you do, quick creature gets plus 3-3, three, three, loses all other abilities, and then an Impact Tremors, which is amazing with any kind of tokens or low creature count card and then a foil oh a foil yenna red tooth regent that is pretty sweet and a treasure so yeah that was nice into the next pack could have list cards in there that could be a list card um that is a lovely bit of art there and we get an island but not full art though Sad, sad times. Bestial Bloodline, Red Tooth Geneal Genealogist, Curse of the Werefox, Ferocious Werefox, Splashy Spellcaster, Johan Apprentice Sorcerer, Half Elemental, Storyteller Pixie, Lord Skitter Sewer King, The Rat Noble 3-3, three, three. and then a Primal Vigor. I seem to be pulling the Primal Vigors at a great consistency if you see my previous video, and then a Tenacious Tombstone seeker and the list card of yadaro the big a, a trample haste you can cycle i remember playing this one in standard was a very very fun card 
Right, next pack, let's go into a lovely piece of art there. Very nice. And full art mountain trolling this blue mage here, which is Mark. Then we have protective parents. We have charm cloth here. We have return triumphant, torch the tower, frolicking familiar, collector's vault. Love that uncommon. Tempest heart and leech knight conquest, which I think was the promo card. And then a dragon mantle and a foil freeze in place and on an adventure okay so yeah pretty sure that was the promo card oh could be another list card could we pull something there oh a signed piece of art see that with the gold glistening there that is a sold and another mountain for this blue mage conceited witch not dead after all pretending you're gonna see uh, older format plays Prophetic Prism, Eriot's Whisper, Trojan Gutsy Implorer, Explorer even, Up the Beanstalk, my first one of them, I think that's a really good um, uncommon, and then a Mythic Virtue of Persistent Enchantment, beginning to replicate, put a tight card from a graveyard onto the battle under your control, very sweet, and a Sir Ginger the Mill Ender as well, and then a lovely art of Hatching Plans, and then a Foil Picklock, Prankstar and Adelise the Cinderwind as well. So that was a full on pack there. That had a lot of really good cards. Three packs to go. Here we go. Bit of art. And then a foil mountain again. What is this? Like a red mage box. Bizotted Knight, Aquatic Alchemist, Vantress Transmuter, Cursed Courier, The Witch's Vanity. Twisted Felty, Stone Splitter Bolt, and then Rotisserie Elemental, 1-1. One, one. Copy Enchantment. For like you made copy enchantment in this battle for copy enchantment on the battlefield. So lots of copying of enchantment. And a karmic justice as well. Uh, whenever a spell or ability a con uh, opponent controls, destroys a non-creature permanent control, you may destroy target permanent uh, opponent controls as well. And a foil gallant pie wielder and a advertising card. So a couple of nice full arts there. Not too shabby, this box so far. Art card. And then a forest door. Bellowin Bruiser. We have a Bellowin's Gatekeeper. Beanstalk Worm. Scarecrow Guide. Stormcloud Prowler. Area's Tempting Apple, which I do like as well. Never Stalked by Nightmares. Fairy Dream Thief. Oh, we get the Moonshaker Cavalry Expert Mythic. One of the best cards in the set. <sighs> Wicked pull. And then a Rest in Peace as well, which is a very good staple card in some formats. Uh, full art there. And Return from the Wilds. But the Moonshaker. We pulled the Moonshaker. That is a sweet, sweet pull. So that makes the box indeed. Bit of art there for us. And we get a full art island as well in the last pack. Sky Beast Tracker. Aubrey's Attendant, Spell Stutter, Titanic Growth, Disdainful Stroke, lots of counters for this Blue Mage in this one, Galvanic Giant, Stormkeld Vanguard, Holing Galfang, Food Fight, Artifacts, and then Raid Bombardment, so a bit of red at the end for this, and then a Foil Stockpile in Celebrant, and another bit of advertising but yep yeah, some very nice pulls in this um topped definitely with the moon shaker cavalry and the rest in peace pack that was very good this is a sweet card five triple white though six six ends the battlefield creature control game flying get plus x and x to end a turn where x is the number of creatures you control so yeah very um very good card that one and um no doubt it's going to see some play especially in command but yeah all in all a very good box i feel this one was Thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Um, I've been off for a few weeks, so YouTube are gonna are gonna need some help spreading these videos around to get back on track again. Uh, if you want to go a bit extra further, check out my Patreon as well. And if you want to buy any of these cards that will be coming up very soon, check out my sponsors, Card Market, and um, yeah, get yourself some deal if you're in Europe. Anyway, you lot take care, and I'll see you on the next video.